Welcome back to the channel. Guys, I am an idiot. So I spent probably about $500 trying to fix a problem I had in this M2. I'll put a link somewhere over here as to what that problem was. So first, basically the way I'm gonna do this video, I'm gonna summarize what the issue is, just in case you ever have a similar issue. I'm gonna summarize kind of what the problem was. And then I'm going to kind of go through all the things that I tried in order to fix the problem. Then I'm going to show you what the actual problem was. And then you can leave all the comments saying I'm an idiot. So please bear with me, just hang tight. I want you guys to hear all the things I did to try to fix this car's problem uh, before I actually found what the problem was. I want you to just feel my pain and understand what I did. So yeah, let's get to it. So let's hop in the M2. Now there is a bit of a glare on the dash, but that's okay. If I go to turn the car on, you will see it starts up, no problem, no headache, no issue. So what would happen is I would get a message right here and on the iDrive from it saying that my battery was drained and completely discharged and that I would have a increased battery discharge when the car was off. So basically you think, okay, maybe there's a parasitic draw, maybe, you know, your car has some defect that you saw online that, okay, some BMWs have this problem. Like for example, the door handles tend to glitch sometimes on these cars and will draw a lot of power from your car. So every time I would start the car, essentially it would tell me the battery was dead. This was kind of a pain because comfort access was turned off. When you go to unlock the car, like with the keys and stuff, typically you have the front halo lights turn on as you kind of approach the car, you know, that little signature BMW light, those turn on. So when the battery is drained or discharged, that feature is turned off to kind of save battery power for the ability to actually start the car. So that stuff was off. So basically all my fancy features were off in this car and I couldn't figure out why. That's basically the problem. Let me go into the things I did to try to fix this problem. Okay, here's the trunk. So when we go in here to get to the battery, if I can prop this up a little bit. So this cable right here, this is called the IBS sensor or this is the negative battery terminal and this is the IBS sensor right here. So this is a $150 part right here. And this sensor pretty much tells the car, hey, this is what the battery percentage is. This is pretty much the state of the battery. And it kind of helps the car decide, you know, what to do, whether to run the alternator, et cetera. Basically checks the health of the battery. So I replaced this part myself for $150. That is number one thing that I did to try to fix this problem. So that did not work. Initially, it seemed like it worked. And I'll kind of go a little bit into why later when I get to the actual solution. So I use Beamerlink to be able to check all my temperatures and stuff like that. So when I pulled up the battery on there, it initially showed a nice charge of like 80% or something. So I'm like, okay, cool. Problem fixed. Everything is back to normal as it should be. Great, smooth sailing, problems fixed. Unfortunately, the problem came back a few days later. So what did I do after that? Well, coincidentally enough, I was doing my 60,000 mile service on this car. I'll put a link to that somewhere over here. I'll kind of go a little bit more into detail as to what was done. So they kept the car for a couple of days. They tried to diagnose the problem themselves at the shop. Now it's a BMW Indy shop, so they do pretty good jobs with the car they couldn't initially find the issue. So they basically tried to play around with the battery. They ran some tests and everything turned out fine. The battery was perfectly fine, perfectly healthy, but the car was still saying that the battery was dead. So there was a mismatch between what the battery was saying and what the car was saying. So what they decided to do then was, all right, let's do a full software update and see what happens from there. So we performed the software update on the car and initially everything seemed A-OK -okay yet again. A few days later, the problem came back. Clearly that problem wasn't fixed. Now the diagnostic and then the update, everything came to about $350. So all in all, about $500. So now let's talk about what the actual problem was in this car and why I'm an absolute idiot and I can't believe I did not notice this. Can't believe the shop actually didn't even notice this, but who would have thought that the issue would be this? So yeah, let me show you what's going on in the trunk. Okay, welcome back to the trunk of my BMW. The issue was not the software update. It was also not the IBS cable. The issue was right over here. So if you look under the positive battery terminal, Basically, what you have is this big clamp with this screw here that screws down onto the positive terminal. Now, what you also have is here on the IBS sensor, you have this little red cable. The red cable runs along here to the positive battery terminal. The issue was basically just to cut right to it. This cable was loose. Like, are you serious? This whole time for like three months, I've been battling this problem. 
and all it was was just this cable wasn't tightened down. This is a 10 millimeter bolt and essentially when you tighten it, it clamps this down. So the screw kind of goes in from the bottom end and it kind of hooks through the IBS sensor cable. So you can tighten it enough to that this, so that this is like perfectly tight, but that the cable's loose. So this battery was replaced by a BMW dealership about four or five months ago. What happened was I'm assuming when they replaced the battery, they tightened it, but they didn't tighten it all the way. So that's why it passed pre-purchase inspection. That's why nothing flagged because everything was fine on the car. This cable was just loose. Now, why this was an intermittent issue and that this sometimes gave me an error and sometimes not is only because sometimes this had good connection and other times it didn't. But when I say loose, I mean like literally like you could jiggle it around loose. Like it was horrible. Now I know every single time I've done something and post a video on it, I basically say, yeah, this problem is fixed. Woohoo, everything's great. Everything's done. We're, the problem has been solved. And then the problem comes back two days later so i decided to wait pretty much a week after finding this out to just film this because i wanted to see well maybe maybe that's the case again maybe it comes back maybe that's not the actual problem and i've been going a week and i've been checking my battery state every day every couple hours pretty much as i drive and it's fluctuating at a normal amount as it should now of course when i first tightened that I cleared all the error codes in the car, pretty much unplugged the IBS sensor, replugged it back in, essentially just did a full reset on the whole sensor and everything looked fine. So I plugged in Beamer Link and from that point I checked the percentages and everything was pretty much fine. Everything was showing 99%. Now initially 99% makes me a little nervous because okay, maybe it's glitching and just showing 99 instead of like an actual reasonable number. But then it kind of made a little bit more sense when you think, okay, if the car genuinely thinks the battery is dead this whole time, the alternator is gonna keep running because it's gonna keep trying to charge the battery and just overcharge it to 99 or 100% constantly. Now, typically BMW batteries, they operate around 80 to 90% kind of in that range. The car typically won't charge it up past that and it won't let it fall too much lower past that 80% threshold. Bit concerning that for all that time, the battery is being overcharged. So inevitably the lifespan of this battery is probably gonna be a lot shorter than it normally would be. But okay, fine, no problem. I'll just replace the battery in like two, three years. Everything should be A-OK. -okay. Hopefully I don't have any issues with the alternator considering how much the alternator was probably running. But either way, yeah, it's been a week without this issue, which is great. I'm ultimately really happy that I solved the problem. I can't believe the shop didn't actually find that, but I mean, who would have thought that it was just a loose cable? Like it's such a stupid thing. It's literally like when you go to the store with your broken phone and they're like, have you tried turning it off and on again? And you're like, no, because it's a stupid idea. Why would I ever do that? And then it turns out just turning it off and on again solves a problem. And it turns out to be a stupid loose cable <laughs> that was a problem this whole time. I am an idiot. But the BMW is fixed now for good. Battery problem is finally solved. If you like this little update, leave it a like. If you want to see more updates on this car, more videos, please subscribe. It'll help me on my 2024 goal of getting monetized and kind of hitting that 1,000 subscriber mark this year. If you want to help out with that, I really would appreciate it. If not, thank you so much for stopping by. Leave me some uh, comments. Let me know if you ever had any similar problem with your car where you went through all this money just to find a problem and the problem turned out to be something as simple and stupid as a loose cable. Let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.